Hey, Chris Mack here. I am wondering if you want to see me put in some floors. So I'm updating the new back studio location. Um, it's the small little room behind the boutique um, where we're going to be meeting our wedding clients, our lash and brow clients moving forward. But it needed some updating. So I brought you along for the journey. Um, today is day 17. But um, I've been pretty busy the last few days and I have been documenting. I just haven't been posting what's been happening. So here it goes. I want to get a lot done. Sarah leaves for a cruise. She's working on a cruise uh, doing hair and makeup for it. So I want to take this opportunity to get a lot done in the new location, um, the essentials, so we can start moving things in. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to bring you along um, before I get on the road here. I don't like touching the phone or doing anything while I'm driving. So I'm going to bring you along while I select, purchase um, the flooring. So I hope that, that'll be fun, involving you all in on it. See you there. See you there. So I'm here now. I come, I've come to this warehouse called End of the Roll. Haha, <laughs> just joking, that's Ginger. Hey, Ginge. Might be impressive if she could talk to. But no, I'm um, I'm kind of ducking because there's all these people coming out of the store right now and I feel really silly filming. So I'm going to go in and uh, get you some some shots and show you options of flooring that I'm thinking of. Okay? Oh, there's Raffi. Raffi, say hello. So here's the floor I ended up picking out. Um, it's actually very similar to what I have in the Capelli Club, except it's not a vinyl. Tap, tap, tap. That's the ladies for you. Um, I don't even know. I think it's just sawdust and paint and stain and stuff on the floor there. But it's like um, a really nice warm gray with a smoky white line through it. So I thought it'd be really clean and then it will be nice and bright in this room here. So off I go. This is even before the corner round goes back on. So you can just see how that just cleans the whole place up. So much nicer. Don't you want to feel like you want to do some beauty services in here now? Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It was something I wanted to share because it was dirt cheap. And it's going to be dirt cheap moving forward for me in terms of maintenance and cleaning and no vacuum bags or filters. Nothing will be required. A simple sweep and a mop. It is going to be such um, an easy floor to care for. It's it's durable. It's not slippery. Um, there's no tripping. Area carpets were costing for what we were looking for well over $200. In fact, it was getting up to four and six um, just for one, and I, I potentially need, need a two because it's almost a 200 square foot uh, little studio space. So when we were comparing costs um, and then maintenance and then tripping hazards and all these things that come with carpets, I was like, you know what, let me find a, a durable floor. The one I found was, it's made in Germany, so already it got like an A plus from me. It was easy to lay. I just used scraps that I had around. Like I used, I didn't go buy fancy tools. I just used an old two by six, some old wood I had uh, hanging out in the garage super simple project and yet it's going to save me a ton of money so I can take 
my business financials and I can invest into my products, I can invest into my business. It took me one afternoon, a little bit of shopping, which I would have done anyway for anything I'm gonna put in my studio. Uh, so yeah, really cool project, saved a lot of money. And these are the things I love talking about. I love talking about putting your money where you should be and saving you money as a small business owner. So I hope you enjoyed it. I, I am sure I will be sending a lot more of these types of posts out there in the future because uh, I tend to do a lot myself and I love to update stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.